And so your MVP of the league, led the league in home runs uh, twice, I believe. <laughs> Oh yeah, time. twice, yeah, twice. Oh. Three times RBI. Three times RBI. What would, I mean, you had so many great accomplishments. What's one thing that kind of stuck out in your, sticks out in your mind when you look back on that, that you're proud of? Hitting for a high average. I not only hit for power, but hit for average. So now, now you become a team player as such. So you get on base, you drive in runs, you get on base. So being able to hit 320, you got to be more of a, you can drive in runs, not only hitting the home runs, but you get a base hit to drive in. I think I had 197 hits that particular year. Of course, 52 of them were home runs, but the other times were singles, doubles, not a lot of triples, and I want to stop at second base. And I, I wasn't known to slide a lot because the clubhouse guy wanted to make sure that I keep the uniform clean. But other than that, uh, I was out there. I was a team player. Yeah. And Pete Rose had said that make sure that you don't give up on that bat. Every at bat counts. Yeah. You got to see him play firsthand. Oh, yeah. I taught him everything he knows. and. To this day, he doesn't give me any credit for it, so I just had to speak out for myself. <laughs> we'll get that out to the masses. <laughs> yes. People need know. to know. Let them know. <laughs> um, leads to my next question. Who's uh, one teammate that really jumped out as, uh, man, this guy is really special. I obviously he played with a lot of great players in the Hall of Fame. Um, who's someone that you really admired? Well, the guy that King Griffey Sr., because he was a guy that played hard every day. He would say, I'm going to get five hits tomorrow. Like, that. yeah, right. He goes out and get five hits. Like, what's wrong with this guy? How can he do that? You know, I'm out there trying to get three or four hits. But he was an athlete. He was determined, and that really, I wanted to stay in the, up there too, because you know, you usually would say, ask a guy how many hits he got, and you say four or five. You don't want to say, well, I got one hit today, and they got five. So you always want to go out there and compete. It's a friendly co competition, but it's being able to, to compete. Well, seeing who's going to get the most hits in that particular room. That's great. Um, what was it like playing with Pete Rose, his mentality they brought to the ballpark? What? Well, he's great leadership. He's a guy, you talk about playing hard, want to play every day. All that Sparky just needs to put his line, name in the lineup, he's going to be there every day, day in and day out. And he was a team player. He's going to lead the league in his uh, batting average, uh, run scored, uh, doubles. He's going to be up there in batting average. So here's a guy that's going to be uh, competitive every day, and he's going to be a team player. Was there one pitcher in particular that gave you fits that you just hated to face? Not really. It's just guys that you didn't like to face a lot. A guy named J.R. Richards or Nolan Ryan. You see, the thing is, is that if you made the, the if you struck out, you want to be the third out so you can go out to the outfield compared to walking back to the dugout. Because now fans are like, yeah, yeah, he's gonna strike you out again. But uh, you don't want to walk back with your bat, you know, to the dugout. At least you go out to the outfield and think about it for a while. Such on the mental side of, of hitting, which is a huge part. What what was your mindset stepping into the matter box? I was scared. Nobody was there but me. No. It's, it's, I'm bored. Arigatou, tu es sur le